welcome to Knowledge by Nature. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I've chosen for my Historathon reads for 2021. But before we get into that, if this is your first time here, welcome. I am a homeschool mom to a first grader. I love all things homeschool and books and sharing my journey with you. And if that is something that you are interested in, I ask that you hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before and you're returning, thank you so much. It's always awesome to have you. So let's get started. In today's video, I wanted to show you what books I chose for Historathon. I really wanted to get this out sooner because I kept thinking two of the ones that I ordered would be here, but they didn't. And if I don't get it up this week, then there's no point in really doing it. And so if you don't know what Historathon is, it's a really fun challenge that the Science Mama and the Curly Reader are hosting this year. And they came out with this little bingo board. And so you try to find books where you are able to bingo. So if you are an avid reader and you can read a ton, then maybe you could block off the whole thing. If you're very talented, you might be able to find one book that one or two books that would be able to knock off the entire board. So I am not able to read a ton. And so I have chose four books that I am planning to participate with for the Historathon. The very first one, which I do not have yet, is the group read, and it is The Yellow Bird Sings. I will actually put an image right here so you can see what that is, and that is the book that both the Curly Reader and Science Mama chose as our book read as a big group. So I'm looking forward to that. It's about a little girl that has a, an amazing ability to sing, but it is going on during the war, and so silence is key, and it just follows along with that story and the heartache that I'm sure will go along with it. So here's my first little star that I'll be able to put right there. And then right here is where I am planning to actually bingo, but I think I can actually bingo this way too. So my first book that I have here, a book with no people on the cover, and I am choosing The Orphan's Tale by Pam Jenoff. I cannot wait to get started with this one. It looks so good. And it says that it's a powerful novel of friendship set in a traveling circus during World War II. And so it's about these two women that go through the, all these sacrifices to be able to survive. And one of them actually finds a train full of babies. And it just looks so, so good. And I cannot wait to get started in that one. My second star that I will have here is... A book set during winter. For this one, I chose a Kristen Hanna book. Kristen Hanna is the author of The Nightingale, and if you have not read that book and you are into historical fiction, I definitely recommend you go pick it up. It was a beautifully written book. I was so invested in it. I flew through that book, but the one that I am choosing for my bingo board is Winter Garden. So The Winter Garden is about two very, very different sisters, and they're very odd mother. She is not a loving mother. She is very distant. And when it all boils down to it, their father ends up passing away. And he requests that his final request is that the mother finish a story that she had always started and never finished. And so it goes along that. It is wonderful so far. I have started it and Kristen Hanna is just amazing. So this will knock off a book set in winter. So, so far I have a book with no people on the cover, a book set during winter, and then I have a book with a person's name in the title. All right, so my next one is Simon the Fiddler, and I don't have it yet, so I'll give you a picture right here. This is by Paulette Giles. This would actually click two stars for me. So it is a book with a person's name in the title, and it's also a book about a war that is not World War II. So this particular book is set in 1865 and the long bitter war between the states is winding down. And so it's about this man named Simon that he and his bandmates play for the officers and the families during the conflict. And it just follows his story and the things that he did. And he traveled around Texas. And so that would also get me a book set in a place that you have visited. But I don't really know that I have a multi-generational book. So I will be able to bingo this way and this way. So I get to bingo twice. And my four choices are The Yellow Bird Sings, which is our group read, The Orphan's Tale, 
Winter Garden, and Simon the Fiddler. I picked up one more book that very, very lightly hit a multi-generational book, and I'll show you that, but I don't think I'll actually get to it. So just being honest, I do not think I'm going to be able to knock out five books, but this is actually a non-fiction, and it's multi-generational in the fact that David McCullough is telling the story from five different people, one of those being a son and a father. So it's not very multi-generational, and again, I don't think I'll even be able to read this one, but if I was able to read that one, I would bingo here, 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 and here. So I might get even bingo here. A historical fiction subgenre is nonfiction subgenre. I don't know. Probably not. But either way, I've for sure got this bingo down, if nothing else. So I think this is so exciting. I'm really, really excited to get started on this historathon. And thanks again to the Curly Reader and Science Mama for hosting it. And I've started my very first reading journal this year, which I'm also very excited about. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!